PDIP Muhammad Zaini Masri menyampaikan penghargaan terhadap inisiatif untuk membangun satu kekuatan ekonomi umat. Rasul Shallallahu Alaihi Wasallam menyampaikan Al-Mu'minul Qawiyu Khairun wa Ahabu Ilallah min Al-Mu'minul Qawiyu. Seorang mukmin yang kuat ekonominya, ilmunya, wawasannya dan semua hal-hal yang baik itu jauh lebih dicintai oleh Allah dibanding mukmin yang lemah. Maka semua ikhtiar membangun ekonomi umat termasuk melalui operasi dua satu dua adalah bagian yang terpisahkan dari kebangkitan umat. Rakyat jelata, tukang-tukang desa, bakul-bakul nasi. Kita buktikan kepada Inggrisnya kita adalah bangsa yang sungguh-sungguh membuat desa. Dia menjadi tidak ekonomi. Dia berjuang dengan harta dan nyawa sekalipun. This gentleman uh, is, is willing to ask his question in Sinhalese and then we will provide the translation if that's okay. That's okay, go ahead. Okay. Mama Upali Vijay Ratna, Padia Udin Ravi. Mama Epaduna and Passe, Katiri Registral General, Upandine Ume, Upansati K. Yenukote. Ya mama Buddha kami kira, ya lihat di mana mana nenek Buddha kami. Allah Akbar. In in summary, he is Upali Upali Vijay Ratna. He is a retired cooperative inspector. He was a Buddhist by birth. After marriage, he was a Roman Catholic. He couldn't. He says he couldn't find the reality of God, and now is a Jehovah's Witness. He says that he is thirsty to find the reality of God. And he wants to know it in terms of God's power, God's justice, God's knowledge, and God's love. And he says he's seen some reality in this evening's program, and he wants to know how he can find the true religion, the true reality through the Holy Quran. The brother said that first he was born as a Buddhist, he became a Roman Catholic, then became a Jehovah's Witnesses. He's searching for truth, searching for reality in this talk. He found some truth and reality. How can he come closer to it? What is the advice? Brother, the best advice I can give you is that read the translation of the last testament. If there's something like an Old Testament and a New Testament, the glorious Quran is the last testament of God. Read the translation of this and submit your will to God. Submit your will to God means accept that there is no God but Allah and except in all the messengers Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus and also except Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him as the last and final messenger. If someone can translate to him and tell him that he should read the translation of the glorious Quran and should submit his will to God and believe that there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God. ตอนเทียรุนาเดตอนเทียรุนาเดตอนเทียรุนาเดคิดอันดับสุดมาม่าอ่าอาตมาเชนมาคาลินุคิวว่าพระสัญญาหันนิติเสร็จแล้วสุ
Allah has a benediction. There is no God but Allah. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger and servant of Allah. Prophet and Muhammad. someone saying single least to him. He understands a little bit of English. Oh, he understands. Okay. There Prophet, is no. Prophet Muhammad, our son, uh, messenger was him. Mam pili ganu. Mashallah. May Allah accept your faith, and may Allah guide you and guide us all, and may Allah grant you Jannah, and may He accept all our efforts. I'm coming from two different cultures. So I'm half Filipino and half Indian. Now, um, my good friend, she brought me here. I believe everything about Islam. I have no other doubts, but I just want you to help me out how. I mean, I'm not really sure what's really stopping me. So like, I just want to ask you if you can help me out. Sure, sister, you can go ahead with the question. What is the doubt? And that's that. That's the doubt. I don't know what's really stopping me. No, you are saying that you have read Islam, <laughs> and you agree with Islam, but there's something that is a doubt. Yeah, there's something that's stopping me, but I just don't know. I just really don't know. Sister, so the question that there's something that is stopping me, but I don't know what's stopping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sister, if you don't know what's stopping, so let that don't know. So just. You forget about that, and you take a step forward. Okay. Sister, do you believe that there's one God? Yes, I do believe. Do you believe that idol worship is prohibited? I do believe. Do you believe that Jesus is not God? Yes, I do believe. You do believe that he's not God? I do believe he is not a God. But, but he's a messenger he's, of God? Yes. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God? Yes, I do. Sister, these two things, that there is no God but Allah, and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, is sufficient for you to enter the school. When someone is entering the school, he need not be a graduate. He knows the basics, he enters the school, and then he learns more. So my request to you would be that if you believe that there is no God but Allah, and you believe that idol worship is prohibited, you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, you go ahead, and inshallah God will guide you further, and inshallah you'll be a more practicing Muslim. Okay. So do you want to accept Islam, sister? I think I should. Why not? Is there anyone forcing you? No. Nobody's forcing me. Are you doing all of your own free will? Yes, I So inshallah, I'll just say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Okay. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan Abduhu Abduhu Warusuluhu Warusulu I bear witness I bear witness that that there is no God but Allah there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger and servant of Allah is, is the, the messenger, messenger and servant of Allah MashaAllah you have become Muslim <laughs> I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide you further and to remove any obstacle. And if you have any questions, you're most welcome to write an email at zakir at irf.net. And inshallah, inshallah, we'll try and reply to your queries if there's any further. Inshallah. Thank you.